Going for it. Oh, backflip. Hi guys, welcome back to the RC Story. My name's Ammo. Guys, look what we got on the bench today. It's our brand new Co-Rally Asuga. Now we have done an unboxing video on this in depth. If you haven't seen that, guys, I'll put a link just up in the corner here. Be sure to check that out. Guys, it's our first run today with this car. We've never had another Co-Rally apart from the Synchro 4. Guys, if you've seen the Synchro 4 content, absolutely amazing car. Now, the Synchro 4 was our first Co-Rally and that made us take the leap and buy the Asuga. Guys, looking forward to this one. Without further ado, let's go out and let's get bashing with the first run of the Co-Rally Asuga. Guys, we're here on location with our Co-Rally Asuga. This is its first run. We're gonna give it a bit of a blast. First thing first, I think we should do a GPS speed run. We're gonna hit the grass, let's see what it pulls, and then we'll go around a track and maybe a few jumps. Let's get into this. So guys, we're going for a speed run on grass. Unfortunately, this grass is quite high, so we might not obtain the correct top speed on this on grass, but we're gonna go for a blast anyway. It's running on 6S. Let's get the GPS hooked up. I'm joined by Kyle, guys. He's actually got the controller. I've never used this car. I'm gonna let him have the first go on it. And uh, let's see what we get. GPS is set up, guys. I'm just gonna press start. And it's ready to go. Go on, Kyle. Oh, he's flipped it. And it's back round. Quite surprised about that. You can feel the grass is holding it back. Kyle says you can feel it. The grass is holding it back. Let's see what it got, guys. Let's stop that there. 41 mile an hour. What do you reckon, Kyle? Yeah, I don't think we'll get much more. Should we have another blast of it though? See, yeah. Send it one more time, see what happens. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're going to give it another blast. The grass is quite long, but I think it's worth giving it another go. It's got a lot more in this. Go on, Kyle, off you go, mate. Shooting down the field, guys. Remember, this is bone stock. We've not messed around with absolutely nothing on this car. I've not even had a go on it. Um, he's at the first go. <laughs> Look at the grin on his face. Right, it's coming back, guys. Loads of grass on the front, flips it. Battery's disconnected. <laughs> Let's see what it pulled. Did we beat it? Carl, what do you reckon? I reckon 45. Close, 43 mile an hour guys, as you can see there. Not bad, not bad. We know we can beat this speed. Obviously this grass is quite tall as you can see. But guys, let's go have a blast on some dirt. Guys, on gravel, let's get into this. Very nice. Oh. Cheers, I'm out. <laughs> Absolute words I can't say. <laughs> Guys, this hooks up quite well, to be fair. Um, I think the Synchro 4 handles a lot better because it's obviously running on 4S. This has got a lot of power, but this has got a lot of air control. So I think this is more ideal for bashing um, rather than complete track focus. However, I've given the controller to Kyle. Kyle's gonna have a little blast on this. Let's see how he gets on. Oh, yes. It does roll over quite a bit. Guys, I've not adjusted the droop screws on this, so this is completely standard. Um, I probably will 
start playing around with it and tinkering around with droop screws, etc. But look at that. Absolutely phenomenal. Insane. It's quick, I'll give it that. What happened there, Kyle? I don't know, I can't even see where I am. <laughs> you're, in, you're between the rocks. It slid a little bit, didn't it? Are you blaming the sliding? <laughs> All back and running, guys. Insane. Whoa. We have got a few more RCs here, guys. We're here with Big Al's RCs, as you can see. They're going for some air. Nice. This is their Typhoon. Going again. Nice. We're going to go for one big one. Nice. Look at that, guys. Beautiful air control. Oh, we had sparkage on that. <laughs> yes. Whoa, guys, this thing's a beast. Oh, look at it go. <laughs> Kyle's whacked the bin. <laughs> nice. Kyle, what's your thoughts? Definitely not as controllable as the uh, the, the synchro. Definitely not. But still good fun in itself. Like you said, I think this is more designed around the jumping rather than the the track effort. Yeah, I don't think it's really set up for this sort of this sort of track. Yeah. Um, probably more towards your jumping, your over on your uh, skate parks and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, still good fun. It, it's a, it's a great car, um, guys. I personally think with the Asuga. This, the reason why we are finding it a bit tricky is because the Synchro 4 is so easy to use on this sort of turf. I think the Asuga is a lot overpowered and um, it's getting used to it, I guess. This has definitely got a spot in on, on the channel. I think we are going to, this is the first run, like I said. So I think the more we run it, the more it's going to find that sweet spot, I think. What do you reckon, Kyle? Yeah, definitely. Just having to learn the car again, isn't it? That's it. <laughs> so guys, yes, it is the first run video. However, we can't end this video without testing it on this ramp. So Kyle's going for it. Oh, backflip, landed, executed nicely. <laughs> Got good air control, I'll give it that. It's got brilliant air control. <laughs> Here we go, walking the neighborhood dogs. <laughs> that dog can move. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Guys, we just gave the dog some exercise. We tied it out. It's ready for bed. <laughs> Take care. Oh, that's a big jump and a crash. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. That, that was, was nice. So what are your thoughts on it so far? So my thoughts, honestly, I think where this comes into its own is catching air. It's got so much air control when it's up there. You can do backflips, you can control it, and that's very rare for a buggy. Yeah. Um, that's my honest opinion. 
The things I don't really personally like about it is the fact that it topples over quite a bit. Yeah. But that might be down to suspension settings, droop screws. We've not adjusted anything. This is out the box, guys, and we just ran it on 6S. This is my honest opinion. I, I think it's a great car. Um, it needs a few tweaks out the box. A bit disappointed about that arm. We did, um, guys, so the arm itself that you've seen on that jump, uh, it, it did split. So just on the inside there, there's a line and it split out that line. I don't know if that's been done on purpose, but if it is, I, I don't think that was a great shout, but Kyle managed to uh, take the pin out and put it back in and it seems to be okay which to be fair i've got to say their pin system is great yeah because you've not got to take all of your diff covers off and all that stuff your bottom like your, your full diff off like you do on other cars that system's a lot better just to show you guys how long this grass is look at that uh, and I, I was impressed with the speed it's got out the box for grass this long um carl weren't too sold on it but i think that's an achievement for something with that much drag. Kyle? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to eat his own words. Bit of a tarmac coon, guys. He wants to flip a lot. Whoa. I think this is going to be rapid on a tarmac speed run. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What was all that about? So you, you understand the concept of a high side? Yeah. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> so we flipped the car back round, guys. Got a bit of rash there. The wing is actually uh, Held up barely quite well. touched. Fair <laughs> guys, so the thing I was actually worried about, the shock towers, they didn't get touched. They're actually protected, though the distance is very slim between the two. Not a mark on them. Kyle, what's your take on this on tarmac now? I actually really like it on the tarmac. It works really well. It hooks up so fast on the tarmac as well. Guys, he's got a split personality, uh, hasn't he? I have, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I, think I've, I'm look, I am looking forward, which is what I said to you at the beginning. I am looking forward to the tarmac speed run out of this. It's going to be impressive, isn't it? Yeah, I want to see what it does, because obviously we were a bit sort of let down with the other type, the synchro speed run, we were kind of like, okay, but that car on gravel, fantastic. Maybe this is the other Maybe way around. This is the opposite, and I'm hoping so, I'm hoping so. And then they've both got their own sweet spot on the yeah. channel. Yeah, so, but on the tarmac, yeah, this is, it's a cool car. <laughs> there you go, guys. He's, he's swung his foot, and he actually likes it. It hooks up and goes. <laughs> insane this has got to go for a tarmac speed run guys you will see that in the next asuga video i guess guys the Corali asuga what a weapon this car is extremely powerful now i will say for that particular track it was a bit overpowered i think the synchro 4 handled that track a lot better but you got to bear in mind this is a bigger buggy and also it's got more power where this buggy came into its own was speed runs and a bit of skate park action. So it's more of a basher buggy to be fair. Now, on the speed run, it did particularly well. However, you got to bear in mind the grass there was longer than the car itself. So I'm quite proud of that to be fair. Also, one negative thing that I found on this particular car was when we took that jump on that skate park, guys, it did a 360 the positive side about it was this is the first RTR buggy that I've taken out of the box without setting it up, without adjusting anything, and it's pulled a 360 off. That was fantastic. It executed it perfectly. It landed on all fours. However, it broke the upper arm. 
Now, I'll put a picture up on the screen for you guys. As you can see, where it's split is on the mold line. To me, it looks like a manufacturer's defect. They are cheap enough, so um, no biggie there. However, just putting out to you guys, uh, like I said, trying to be completely transparent on the channel for you guys. Um, if you do buy one of these, I would buy a couple of upper arms just in case. And um, a few other people have reported back um, they've broken upper arms, but through hardcore bashing. I was just a bit disappointed because that wasn't really hardcore bashing. It was a perfectly executed landing and um, it split the mole line, which was a bit disappointing. However, they're very, very cheap to buy. I believe they're like six, seven pounds for an upper arm. So no grumbling there. I can't argue with that. Uh, so I'll buy a couple of arms and keep them spare anyway. But guys, overall, what a weapon. Now, this car is extremely fast for what it is. I need to do a GPS speed run on tarmac with this just to set a benchmark. And I think this is going to do really well. After that benchmark, we are going to start modifying this and let's see where it takes us. Guys, if you've enjoyed this content, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to smash that notification button and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.